Danger Dolan. From a tank that flies by shooting its load to using a bucket as a method of theft, we count 15 of the greatest video game exploits of all time. Number 15. Mega Man 1, the pause trick. Killing the yellow devil in Mega Man 1 is no easy task, that is, until you decide to bitch out and use the pause trick, which allows you to slay the devil in the cheapest and quickest way possible. Since Capcom couldn't think of a use for four different non-directional inputs, Mega Man 1 has two pause buttons, select and start. To perform the exploit, you just fire a shot at the boss, pause the game with select. When the shot hits the boss, wait, unpause the game, and the boss will take more damage from the same shot. Rinse and repeat until the boss is 8-bit custard. Number 14. Infinite Lives in Super Mario Bros. This exploit involves precision, turtles, and a stocky plumber, and bouncing up and down whilst gaining some new lives. In order to pull off the exploit, you need to go to World 3-1, find the staircase with two Coopers on it, bounce on the second one at just the right place so you can keep jumping up and down automatically. At this point, you can sit back, relax, and do a little dance. Despite the name Infinite Lives, if you go over 129 lives, the game begins to glitch out, and suddenly your lives will count as negative, so you probably shouldn't get too excited from watching Mario have fun with a turtle and actually pay attention. Number 13. Extra Bottles in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Bottles in Hyrule are an incredibly rare commodity. Using this exploit, you can crash the economy. To complete this glitch, all you need is a bottle, a beetle, and another item. First, you need to find some beetles and equip a bottle. Next, you need to scoop up the beetle, then pause the game and replace the bottle with an item you no longer need. You now have an extra bottle that you can capture a fairy with and forcefully take all its stuff. Number 12. Sequence Breaking in Super Metroid. So this is one of the most popular games to speedrun, and from this has come many time-saving exploits such as arm pumping. That's right, you can pump your arm so hard hard, you can skip an entire boss. Arm pumping can be performed by rapidly changing between aiming diagonally and normally. This gives you extra speed and makes you look baller as fuck. Other sequence breaking exploits include the green gate glitch, the mock ball, and damage jumping. However, none of these exploits will help get you ripped. Number 11. Civilization 5, Give Me Everything. There was a period of time after the release of the Brave New World expansion where you could force the enemy into trading everything they had, even in multiplayer. This led to many rage quits and tears. To take everything they had, you just had to wait for the enemy to initiate a trade with you. Then you modify it to suit your needs and accept it for them. This exploit no longer exists in the current version of Civ 5, but that doesn't mean that the pleasant memory of a useless multiplayer has faded. Number 10. The Rainbow Road Shortcut in Mario Kart 64. Pretty much everyone found out about this one without needing the internet, be it via a game with a friend or just by messing around on your own. Jumping over a fence must be an innate desire found in mankind. The shortcut is right near the beginning of the course. Just as you start down the massive slope, you need to boing using L and aim towards the road below, where you will land with a satisfying pump. If you miss, you'll go soaring through space for eternity, well, at least until Laka 2 notices that you're escaping from his testing grounds and brings you back to the endless races. Number 9. Sword Flying in Halo 2. So speaking of soaring, this exploit allows you to do just that. There are a few versions of sword flying in the Halo games, the most spectacular of which is in Halo 2, where you get to leave the boundaries of reality, or at least the game's map. To sword fly, you need a warthog and a sword. You then need to get into the passenger seat of said hog and lock onto an enemy, have them move away and then attempt to attack them, the results are hurtling. Unfortunately, this exploit wasn't introduced in the Master Chief Collection. Maybe if they left it in, people wouldn't have noticed the crippling issues with the multiplayer. Number 8. The Bottomless Box Glitch in Dark Souls. The multiplayer in Dark Souls is one of the sole reasons the cult hit. A big help towards that is that there's so many possibilities for character builds. However, setting up your character takes a lot of time. This exploit once allowed people to bypass the grind. To do it, you need to put all of the items you want to transfer in a bottomless box, have all 10 save slots used, perform a bit of a menu trickery, and then overwrite another character. Bam! Your new character now has a ring of immortality and a plus 94 sword of desecration. The downside is that this exploit has now been patched out, and now you can't have a level 1 character that one-shots bosses, red phantoms, and your enemies' hopes and dreams without actually playing the game properly. What a shame.
Number seven. The flying tank in Grand Theft Auto 3. GTA would not be GTA without over-the-top violence. And what says over-the-top violence better than a tank propelling itself through the air using the thrust of its main cannon? GTA 3 has quite a few cheat codes, you remember those? But the flying tank was not one of them. All you had to do was find a long road, aim the cannon behind you and fire as quick as possible. Eventually, you will start flying. This wasn't the most efficient form of transport, nor was it the safest, but it was definitely the most entertaining way to get from point A to point B. Number six. Bucket head in Skyrim. Everyone knows that buckets are an integral part of theft, or at least in Skyrim they are. This exploit allows you to bypass the law with the simple use of a large container. All you need to do is place a bucket over the shopkeeper's head and you will not get caught for taking whatever you please, be it a suspicious book on Argonian maids or a sweet roll. There is no limit to what you can take using this exploit. The bad news is, this method for theft has been patched out, however, you can always just use the console or mods to give you whatever you want. Where's the fun in that? Number five. Reckoning Bomb in World of Warcraft. Soloing the same level raid boss in WoW isn't possible, well, for the most part. But back in vanilla WoW, a paladin managed to do so using the Reckoning Bomb technique. To do it, he had to have no life, spend three hours getting critically hit 1816 times, and break three daggers. Paladins used to have an ability that allowed you to save up hits to use all at once, and one user did so to get the server first kill of a 40-man raid boss, Kazak, thus proving to the world that non-healing paladins in vanilla weren't totally useless. However, not long after the video was posted on the internet, Blizzard hotfixed Reckoning so that you can only save up 5 charges, returning paladins to being heal bots until the release of the Burning Crusade. Number 4. Item Duplication in Final Fantasy VII Item duplication is one of the most common and most useful of all types of exploits, especially in RPGs, and perhaps the most famous of these is the Final Fantasy VII dupe trick. To execute the glitch, you need to find a materia called W item, then you enter a battle, select the item you want to duplicate, confirm it, then select another item and when the arrow is over a character's head and you cancel the item, every time you do this, the item will actually duplicate. You can also use this glitch in combination with the morph materia, allowing you to hoard source items. These these items increase one of your stats. This can be used to make you like a god, but not an actual god or you would become a boss in the next Final Fantasy game. Number three. The Endless Stairs shortcut in Super Mario 64. So this was the first and still one of the best 3D platformers. Proof of this is the still alive speedrunning community. One of the most important glitches in the any percentage speedrun is the backwards long jump exploit. To bypass the endless stairs in the last star door, you need to face Mario backwards in the camera so it's facing Mario, aim at the right angle and backwards long jump quickly up the stairs. If you do it right, you should bypass the door or the stairs. Using this glitch in combination with violating a rabbit, you can beat the game with as little as 16 stars. Number 2 Wave dashing. So Super Smash Bros. Melee has been fighting for its right to be a fighting game since not long after its release. One of the biggest reasons it was begrudgingly allowed into the Evolution Championship series and the fighting game community is the exploit wave dashing. So this requires you to jump and immediately press L or R and diagonally down on the control stick. This technique allows you to move as fast as a dash whilst being able to use anything you could normally use while standing still. This removal of this technique in Brawl, amongst other things, caused a huge uproar and resentment towards the game. Of course, this didn't stop any of the people complaining about it from buying the game the day it came out. Number 1. Missing Number in Pokemon Red and Blue. Perhaps the most well-known and loved jumble of pixels. Everyone and their dog has talked to the old man, flown to Cinnabar Island and reaped the benefits of 99 rare candies. When you talk to the old man in Pallet Town, your name is briefly changed to Old Man. During this time, the program has decided to store your actual name in the space where wild encounters are calculated. When you go to a new zone with grass, this would be the reset. However, since Cinnabar Island has no grass and has the potential to find wild Pokemon, this generates the new bug Pokemon Missing Number. The downside is that if you actually catch Missing Number, your save data has a high chance of being corrupted. The tagline, gotta catch them all, can really bite your ass here. That's it for this countdown, and have a go! And select another item, and when the arrow is... Uh, <laughs>